get your stinking hands off me, you damn dirty ape! Hey everyone, welcome to the ranking. Here's my ranking of all the Planet of the Apes movies. Apes Caesar is here. Yes. Um, yes, War of the Planet of the Apes just came out a few days ago, and spoilers, it's amazing. And yes, I thought to celebrate War of the Planet of the Apes, I'd rank like, every single Planet of the Apes movies. Yes, all nine of them, from my least favorite to my favorite. All right, let's get started. Here's my ranking of all of the Planet of the Apes movies. All right, coming at number nine is the Tim Burton Planet of the Apes movie. Yes, this movie came out in 2001, and... My opinions of this movie is it is the worst heaping pile of shit Planet of the Apes movie I have ever watched. There's one good thing about this movie. Uh, well, there's two. One good thing is the makeup. The makeup looks pretty darn good. The next thing is uh, Tim Roth as Thade is so over the top. Help me, my friend. <laughs> it's just he's so over the top of this movie. And the rest of this, there are everything else in this movie is so stupid. The twist is dumb. It makes no sense. Like, why do, how are the apes ruling Earth? Why is Earth the same, but they're apes instead of humans? Why is Thade's face on the Lincoln Memorial? This makes no sense. Mark Wahlberg is bland in this movie. All the apes are very bland and uninteresting, like Michael Clark Duncan, Helena Bonham Carter, Paul Giamatti. They have a waste of a Charlton Heston cameo. Just, it's so stupid. This movie itself is really dumb and gross and awkward. There's some, like, human ape love in this movie. Then there's, like, this weird sex scene that is beyond uncomfortable. And just the, the, the action isn't exciting. The direction isn't really good. This movie is really boring to watch. And, yeah, personally, I hate this movie more than all the Planet of the Apes movies. And, yeah, it's my least favorite. Coming number eight is Battle for the Planet of the Apes. Yes, this movie came out in 1973, and this is like the final chapter of the older Planet of the Apes movies. And this movie is dull, it's derivative, it's not very fun, it's not very entertaining, it's not exciting like the other Planet of the Apes movies. Well, the first and third one, spoilers, but yeah. This movie is not very good. The, the makeup was getting worse, the action was getting more hokey and cheesy, the storyline. The storylines in these movies were getting even more, like, beyond belief. Like, like there's, there's some of the stuff that happens in this movie just makes no sense. And the uh, characters, all the good characters are basically dead, so you don't give a shit about any of these new characters and these actors who can't act with a shit. And, yeah, Battle of the Planet of the Apes is probably the most dullest one and the most unexciting one. It's just, yeah, definitely not a favorite of mine. Coming number seven is Beneath the Planet of the Apes. Yes, Beneath the Planet of the Apes is actually the second movie. This is the sequel to the 1968 classic. This actually had Charlton Heston in this movie. And again, it had Cornelius and Zira and stuff. The characters that you love from the first film. First film. And honestly, this movie's not very good. This movie actually pissed me off more than a lot of Planet of the Apes movies because... I watched the first Planet of the Apes movie years and years ago, then I watched this one right after, directly after, and my god, what a step down this movie is. Like, the action isn't really there, it's not very exciting, the story isn't very interesting, the commentary isn't as clever as it was in, was in the first one, the writing isn't very good, the characters' motivations are confusing, and again, it's not very entertaining, and it's just kind of a drag through, and just, yeah, this one was one of the most painful ones to sit through. I think the other two are just dumber movies, this one is just kind of dull and just kind of pointless. Coming number six is Conquest for the Planet of the Apes. Yes, this was after the third one, the good one. This is the fourth one with uh, Zero and Cornelius' son, uh, Zero. And this is the one, again, this is a very forgettable Planet of the Apes movie. Uh, this is the one with the cats and dogs, I say. Yeah, the, the biggest flaw with this one, this one isn't super bad. It still has the good makeup and stuff, and there's some interesting moments and funny moments, and yeah, there's some, like, ability to it, but it's very forgettable. Like, there's, I barely remember anything that happens in this movie. I call it the one with the cats and dogs because that's the only one to just stick this one because a lot of these, like, Planet of the Apes sequels, they all mush together, and I forget which one's which because they're not very memorable, like the good ones. And this one is just kind of the meh ones. Coming number five is Escape from the Planet of the Apes. This one is actually genuinely a good movie. This is just about Cornelius and Zira arriving to Earth and stuff and trying to learn about, you know, humans in this time period and stuff because they didn't know they were going back in time to Earth where Charlton Heston's Earth was and stuff. It's like in the 1970s, thousands of years before, you know, the human extinction and the plate and the, the apes rule everything. So they learned about Earth's 
science, technology, the human beings and stuff. They try to connect with them and befriend them. But then, of course, we human beings, we're scared of things that are different, and basically it's them trying to escape from them, you know, because of Zero has a baby who's Zero and stuff, and they're trying to, you know, get the baby to safety and stuff, and yeah. This movie is very good. It has a very good character-driven story. I love Cornelius. Like I love, like I love Roddy McDowell in this movie. He's great in all the ones he's in and stuff. And yeah, I, this movie has a very dark climax. And I like the characters. I enjoyed this movie. It was a lot more exciting and it was just more intriguing. There's not a lot of action until the ending. And this movie ends very dark. Like this is probably one of the most darker endings in the older Planet of the Apes films. And yeah, I enjoyed it. I like the story of these two apes coming to Earth, learning about human beings and communicating with them. I found this movie a lot more interesting and a lot more enjoyable. Coming number four is Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Yes, this is directed by Rupert Wyatt and this has Tom Felton, James Franco, and Andy Serkis as Caesar. In 2011, when this movie came out, this movie did not look good. I'm sorry. I just, after the Tim Burton mess of a film, I had zero interest to ever see a Planet of the Apes movie ever again. But I saw it. I saw it in theaters. I didn't see it opening day. I saw it like a couple weeks into the when it was in theaters because I was hearing good reviews. People were saying this is a really good movie, very realistic movie, very intense film. So I gave it a watch and I loved it. I loved this movie. This movie was so good. It was so tragic. I love how they came up with the, the concept of this virus and stuff. It was James Franco. He wanted a cure for his dad because he had Alzheimer's, who's played amazingly by John Lithgow. And then he finds this monkey who lost his mother. He names him Caesar. He's a very intelligent monkey. He teaches, him, teaches him how to sign language. But then this like animal team, they capture him and they lock him in a cage. And that's when he grows to like, you know, have this rage and get this army of apes to break out they go into the woods and when that happens the virus breaks out and stuff and just this movie's intense it's really good the visuals are fantastic Andy circus is brilliant in this film i love his chemistry with james franco james franco is genuinely very good in this film tom felton always plays a good asshole and he's great and yeah i love john lithgow as well as as the father and yes the movie was so well directed so well paced so entertaining so thrilling and engaging i was so excited to see what where the story was going and yeah rise one of the big shocks ever in the best way possible. Coming in at number three is Planet of the Apes. Yes, the 1968 Planet of the Apes. Get your stinking hands off me, you damn dirty ape. Yes, Charlton Heston. Charlton Heston's great in this movie. Again, I love the commentary of the apes and the humans and the society, the reversal roles and slavery and stuff. It's very interesting. The, the makeup, John Chambers won the Academy Award for the makeup in this movie. The makeup is brilliant. The cinematography is also really good. It's very thrilling. I love the dynamics of these characters. Everything about Planet of the Apes is a really good movie. It is just a classic story that's timeless to me. Again, I watched this movie years and years ago, and I didn't think I'd like it because a movie about Planet of the Apes, that just sounds stupid, but it's very clever, it's very smart, it's so well-directed, and very well-acted, too. Like, Charles Heston's fantastic. And again... And again, Roddy McDowell is great in this film. It just, I love this movie. It's, it's a timeless movie. It's a classic film. It's not the best, but it's definitely one of my favorites. Coming number two is Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Yes, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes was always my favorite until, you know, a couple days ago. But this is a great movie. How Matt, how Matt Reeves directed this movie was so great. This was felt more like a war than actually war, but still... I really love this movie. I love the opening to this movie. It's all like in sign language. I love how this movie shot. I love the establishing shot and how that ties into the closing shot at the climax. It's so good. I love Koba. Like I love how Toby Go Toby Cabell played Koba, the villain. You understand this villain, you know he's deeply psychotic. I love the character Rocket. I love Caesar. Andy Circus was amazing. He probably should have been nominated for an Oscar. He's great. I love the human characters like Harry Russell, uh, Corey Smith McPhee. I love Jason Clark, Gary Oldman. Again, a villain that you truly understand. And yeah. I love the, 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 love the relationship of the humans and the apes and stuff, how Caesar understands the humans and how they want to build into this dam and create electricity for their towns and stuff. He wants to help, he wants to help them out and stuff, but Koba's ruining that because Koba hates humans. And since Caesar loves humans, Koba starts hating on Caesar. And then the, the war between them two began, Caesar and Koba and stuff. And yeah, the epic finale between the two of them was pretty awesome. Watching Caesar kick shit 
Sheriff Koba was very satisfying. And yeah, I love the story. I love the action. I love the characters. There's a lot of deep, dramatic, moving scenes in this movie. And yeah, I love this film. And my number one favorite Planet of the Apes movie is War for the Planet of the Apes. Yes, I'm going to leave a link down below to my review. I went to depth about this movie. I talked to depth about how much I love this movie, how this is like... One of my favorite movies of the entire year. Like, again, A Circus is fantastic. Woody Harrelson is fantastic. How this movie ends is just so sad. There are so many scenes that I was almost crying in this movie. I love the characters in this movie. I love Bad Ape. I love Caesar. I love... So I love Ma uh, Maurice. Maurice is always great and stuff, and I understand Woody Helson's character. I, I understand why he's so crazy and stuff, and why he's so scared and paranoid. The action that's in this movie is really well crafted, very well directed. The dramatic scenes are so beautiful, so atmospheric, so moving. The shots are fantastic. The visuals are fantastic. Everything, everything about this movie is fantastic. It's not a perfect movie, but it is a perfect Planet of the Apes movie, and it's by far, by far the best Planet of the Apes movie I've ever seen, and it's my favorite. So yeah, that was my ranking of all of the Planet of the Apes movies, from my least favorite to my favorite. So in the comment section below, please tell me what is your ranking of all the Planet of the Apes movies, in your opinion, from your least favorite to your favorite. Comment below, let me know, and as always, if you this video, please like subscribe to this channel, and join the dark side.